father had been a municipal judge, but after cultivating some powerful enemies in high places, he'd been barred from the bench and could no longer find work in the city. Mother suggested we leave it all behind and move to the country and start anew. How much further, Mother? Only a few more miles, dear. That's what you said a few miles back. That's because I was lying to you before, dear. <laughs> Mother's family owned a small property out in the middle of nowhere, and it had been lying vacant for vacant ever since my great aunt had passed away. Your grant. Is it haunted? I hope so. All good houses, old or new, need a friendly ghost or two. It wasn't much, but it was a house to make a home. So, Your Honor, what's the verdict? Yes, well, make do here, I suppose. Sustain. Mother was raised in the countryside. Rural living came second nature to her, even after all of those years. It seemed she could do anything. Sharpening blades. <sighs> Though she still needed my help with some things, of course. Here, Mother. Oh, my Anna, what a great help. Father, on the other hand, didn't know splitting a wedge from a splitting wedge from a brush hook. He tried to adapt to our new life, but was often more of a burden than a help to mother. Many days, father sat inside and read his books. He was a, always a bit ill at ease in the woods. Ill at ease in the woods, especially at night. Ever noticed how? dark it gets out here. Because it's a new moon tonight, love of my life. The silence is so loud here, you know. The insects, the frogs, the strange birds. That's a mockingbird. Very good, Anna. Yes, that is a mockingbird. Well, she certainly, you, you are, daughter. Wow, I can't <laughs> believe there's a typo. Well, she's certainly your daughter, isn't she? I'm disappointed in you, Woodsman. Hey, wait, it wasn't me! <laughs> it was the writer. <laughs> now, you're sure it's quite safe to eat these things that you've been dragging in from outdoors? Only way is to find out. Oh, wait, only way to find out is to eat up, hubby. Dig in. On the days that Mother went hunting, Father preferred that I stay inside and keep him company. Father, there's some men at the door. They look dopey. Not so loud, sweetheart. Uh, gentlemen? <sighs> Just seeking shelter, that's all. We, we, we won't bother you none. We won't so much as crack a knuckle. Won't crack a knuckle. Won't crook a nickel. Uh, uh, apologies, but at this time we can't accommodate you. What did I tell you? Same as all the others. Spooked by the beast, huh? Beast? Yeah, it's it's the beast that uh, runs this dominion. We're we're all of us just interlopers here. Only folks safe from the beast are are them that's already in the ground. <laughs> if you if you catch my drift, linger too long in these woods, your good is gone. Pack it up, Doc. You're you're his property. Now, if you'd be so kind as to spare a fistful of groats. My associate and I can make it so that that fiend stays away from your little homestead here. Just a, just a little hokum pokum we picked up. No, no, no thank you, but no, thank you. I did mean to say Doc, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After his meeting with the strange men, Father remained disturbed for weeks. He urged Mother not to go hunting in the woods, but she assured him that there was no danger, no beast, and he relented. Until the night Mother returned home very late. Oh, oh dear! You've been hurt! It's nothing to fuss over. What the devil kind of creature? I didn't see it. It was it was dark. Mother, was it the beast? No, no, don't scare your father, Anna. Oh no! This will simply not do! This will not do! We cannot stay here! Please, please don't throw yourself into a fit again. You can still have the medical book you brought along. Oh, medical please. book? Is it not bad? I, I'd just like to see if... Tomorrow! We will all leave this place tomorrow and never return. I simply won't stand by to see my family picked apart limb by limb or on some creature from the woods! 
Anna, put on some tea for your father. He needs something to calm his nerves. Really think I'm overreacting? Of course I do. Now, go, now go sit. Uh, we will remain here. The earth will spin. This wound will heal. It looks far worse than it is, truly. But Mother wasn't telling the truth. It is spreading, but you mustn't... It says if no one's fever continues to worsen. No, of course not. Of course not. Of course not. Father never spoke again of moving to the city. Oriana, she's still here with us, Anna. He was determined to survive in that house, as was I. Uh, did she ever tell you uh, anything about how to grow beets? Harvest seeds when cluster brown brown beets survive in the frosty ground. I like beets. Me too. <laughs> 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 I like the fire, Dad. More, more the beats. Fire. More beats. Oh my gosh! What is my computer doing? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Uh, you know, beats and eggs don't quite go together. Oh, it all ends up in the same place. Can you make the tea? We're out. Oh, I'll go pick some up. Or pick, pick ghosts some. or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yes, when trees are bare and frost is seen, you'll warm the tea with greener winter tea. There we go. Winter green. You'll warm with tea of winter green. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you'll That's stay what I said, in, Anna. It's nearly dusk. Oh, I'll take it in. The blue, 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 blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it will only take a minute. It's right. It's past the far fence. This is why I asked Shelby to be narrator, Anna. <laughs> you are not to go into the woods alone, Anna. You know this. Honestly, Father, if you haven't noticed, we live in the woods. I'm always in the woods. As long as I'm not getting into fights with bears, I don't see why you're so... Because you're my responsibility, and if anyone should fight a bear, it should beat me. Do you understand? <laughs> Eggs are burning. Ah, oh, oh, oh! I'm sorry, Anna. I... It's all right, Father. Burn your eggs. You'll grow 500 legs. I'm just making those up. <laughs> what? <laughs> Actually, that one I learned from Mother, too. <laughs> You've always been a terrible egg cook, but some I make up. Uh, they help me to remember. Tell me a few others you know. The fiddlehead's fern filled a stomach sunk by a fell fell mill. No, nope, wow. nope. Try it again. Okay, Shelby. Read the rhyme <laughs> schemes here. There you go. The yeah. fiddlehead's fern to fill a stomach sunk by fallow mill. Relieve n the nettle ivy's bite with salve resembling malachite. Trying to come up with it. Ah, uh, to keep your socks dry, which is important, one must not forget to affix hooks to- <laughs> Too many <laughs> syllables. Ah, uh, yes, I might leave the couplets to you, Anna. Because I only well, got 15 like minutes, and there. I want to know how this ends. Alright. The moon's cor coral great, cool, little whatever. Corona! Corona. The moon's corona. corona. <laughs> the moon's corona gray vi- Violet Cray pretends the winter brutal fray. Close enough. <laughs> I can read, guys. <laughs> Is that true? We need more firewood. Don't stay in, Anna. Father, please. The snow will be up to your waist in mm -hmm. by midday tomorrow. We can make ends meet with what we have. We have nothing in the way of firewood. I'll tend to it, Anna. I won't send you into the maw of the beast just because of some childish rhyme you picked up. You were... You, you, you call me childish? Father, forget your tall tales for a minute and think. We are nearly out of food and chicken feed. The path to town is iced over. We must get firewooded or we'll freeze. Not at night. We don't go out at night. That's the end of it. Anna, go to sleep. 
It wasn't the first time I'd, I'd disobeyed Father for his own good. Mm, I love my little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Grab and crack. <sighs> Avoid the scourge of ice black for your for <laughs> God <laughs> for to ensure your bones don't crack. I felt shattered, completely, acutely alone. If he had only permitted me to navigate the woods on my own terms, this kind of thing would not happen. If I didn't always have him have to save him from himself. What the devil? It's a toidal. <clears throat> have you come to recite your little rhymes for me, Anna? What the? Wow! He's wow! I felt something happened to my web page. A pop-up ad just came out of nowhere. What are you talking about, <laughs> creature of the night? <laughs> what is a web page? What is a pop-up ad? All right, I'll just wait. You know, maybe something will happen here with this on conversation. The ice. <laughs> Waiting for somebody to come along. Your line is another one, and then og. Yeah, your uh, your line is another right, okay, one. Okay, question okay, mark. Okay, I'm at. The, all right. But not in that. Not not right after each other. Yeah, another one. Another one. You? What have you done, my my daughter? And then he just hit you with the axe. Then you scream. Knock the lantern out. Roar! And then say, Don't do, let the flame die. Do not let that flame die. Do not let that flame die. You have taken everything from me! Stop! Your anger will not save your daughter. Look closer. That is no ordinary flame. Can you see her? Can you see her spirit dancing? You know, she looks a lot more like you than I remember. Shut up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Spoilers! Fuck <laughs> Anna. Yes, yes, you see? We must keep the flame alive. Now return the lantern to me and... Your vile hags will never touch this lantern! You hear me, beast? Oh, I hear you, dude. <laughs> I understand your pain. But keeping the lantern lit is no simple task. Perhaps... Perhaps we better make a deal. That is not an accurately of dramatic of face it. there. That... Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, a deal! Oh, a deal! Tim, Tim Allen noise. <laughs> <laughs> and then the credits roll. <laughs> I know, I know you told me, Father, I know, but we need firewood, we need firewood, and you never listen to me. If you just had, if you j if you had just listened to me, maybe we could have, should have gone together. Perhaps if we had gone hunting together, then Mother, uh, with Mother, then, <clears throat> Father, I'm sorry you were right, I'm sorry you, ew, no, I'm sorry you were right about the beast, but I made it home safe and sound, didn't I? So next time we have a reason to go into the woods at night, we don't have to be afraid of him. <clears throat> Do you see? We just, uh, we just mustn't go, mm hmm? We just mustn't go alone, father. Alright, take it home, Brian. Come wayward souls and wander through the darkness. <laughs> there is a light for the lost and the meek. Sorrow and fear are easily forgot. Ted. Ted. <laughs> 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 
When you submit to the soil of the earth. Carry on my way with oh, souls. I, like, I think I like Stop. to think that the Carry on my just, way with souls. I like to think that the beast is just always singing on like a vibrating chair, and that's why his voice is like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> <we're>, <laughs> like he's, oh, he's on a massage yeah. chair all the time. <laughs> This is some good shit. <laughs>